Welcome. I'm here with our Fluvio Geomorphology 101 instructor, Dr. David Williams, to tell you more about our upcoming two-part webinar. So David, what will you be covering in this session? The Fluvio Geomorphology will be covered in two portions, an hour and a half each. And the first part will be covering what is Fluvio Geomorphology, what are the terms in it, and what is the science. We'll talk about the river as a system, not as a certain portions of a system system, but the uh, river as a whole system that makes up the watershed area. Then we'll talk about range relationship, which gives us an idea of if you do this to the water or sediment in a river itself, what is the response? We'll talk about watershed zones, we we'll call upper, middle, and lower zones, and what happens in each of those zones of a water. We'll talk a little bit about the evolution of a channel in terms of how does it change its shape over time and in space. Channel stability and instability is next, which we'll talk a little bit about uh, how channels can uh, have banks that are failing and what's causing the failures uh, and how can we possibly fix them. This is then falls into the bank erosion and their causes, and then we'll talk a little bit about hydro uh, hydrologic classifications of a watershed, such as if, uh, is the shield, is it a femoral stream, is it a, a semi-arid, uh, so we'll talk about hydrologic classifications of a watershed, and then we'll talk a little bit about channel geometry and processes. What causes the channel to have its certain shape? What are the important ingredients that determines the width, depth, and slope of a channel? So that's essentially part one. In part two, we'll talk a little bit of how the bed itself armors as a result of slow water going over it. That means how the bed itself in a stream gets coarser and coarser and coarser. Then talk a little bit about floodplain features, overbank areas, terraces, those definitions. Then we'll talk a little bit about channel patterns and the features of these patterns, such as meander, braided. How do we measure the uh, the the important facets of the meander patterns and their uh, channel patterns. We'll talk a little bit then about the stream classification systems, and this is where we'll go over very quickly the Rostian method for stream classification. We'll talk about uh, information related to bank flow indices because uh, identification, identification of bank flow conditions is a very important aspect of determining the, the features of a bank features of a stream that uh, is further used for that stream classification. Talk a little bit about what's, what are the requirements for geomorphic and stream assessments, uh, because uh, most every watershed study requires a geomorphic and stream assessment. So we'll talk about what are the ingredients in such a study. And then related to that, we'll talk about the geomorphic data collection, what are the important pieces of data that has to be collected in geomorphic assessment. Great. Thanks, David. That's all we have time for right now. If you want to learn more from David, join us for our two-part Fluvial Geomorphology 101 webinar. You can register today for this webinar and his stream restoration webinar at foresteruniversity.net. And if you want to hear more from David, check out his other videos on our ForesterU YouTube channel.